So we ran into this guy. What's going on, guys? I want to give a special shout out to Munchkin out there. We just got done training our goddamn calves and they're blowing the fuck up. <laughs> If your waist begins with a two, eat. I see dead people. I need dead people. Lord, pretty flacco. Nailing kiss the ring. All hail the king. Long live ASAP. Put that on everything. Oh, what's up? This is the biggest bar I've ever seen in my life. Yo, they call me Grondon. Holy crap. I don't even got it started, dude. Oh my god. This guy almost is on my level. It's time to get a sick pump today in the gym. We're going to be doing tricep, bicep, tricep, bicep, tricep, bicep, tricep, Shoulder. bicep. No, that was yesterday. Buddy, is that Gatorade or water? It's water, look at the bottom. We're all gonna die. Oh my goodness. on time and you have a set of ropes this is one of the best things you can ever do to target your biceps triceps chest back legs everything you want to target uh, you can do different variations to target your shoulders and all that stuff so give it a shot it's a lot of fun as the title says what gets tracked gets managed now this is something that's really been resonating in my mind for quite some time and it's something that I've really been implying to my everyday life right now there are five things that I currently track whether it's loosely or whether it's like you know, kind of severe with like a journal where I track every single day. And those five things are exercise, my food intake, my expenses, time, and my sleep. On to number one. So exercise is something that I track very heavily. I have my workout logs, I have an app on my phone, and it's just something that I love to track. And it's mainly for progression purposes, just to see how I'm doing, what kind of weight I lifted last week, the week before, how I'm progressing, what my lifts are doing sorry, how my lifts are going and uh, where I'm gonna be a month from now. Now, on to number two, this is a massive one. I'm gonna say this is probably the biggest one, is food. Food is something I absolutely heavily track, my fitness pal, um, and it really depends on, you know, kind of the circumstances. Am I cutting, am I bulking, um, do I have a show, do I have to make a weight class, and that's something that will determine how loose I am with the actual tracking. But this is something that a lot of people, and I've seen so many people within the fitness industry struggle with, and I'm gonna give you guys a few stories just to back it up. Back a while ago, I was like, yo, you know what? I'm gonna get super shredded for summer, I'm gonna eat super healthy, and I'm just gonna show off all them shreds on the beach. Now, what I did was I was like, all right, let me eat all the healthy foods, you know, 
don't need to track anything, you know, whatever. So what I did, I stopped my dad, I'd be like, all right, peanut butter, super healthy, healthy fats, good for you, blah, 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 blah. And then uh, and I'm like, and I would eat, you know, half a jar of that, I'd be like, yeah, this is sick. And then, uh, and then, you know, as the week went on, the weeks went on, the months, and I'm like, what the hell is going on, man? Like, why am I not losing the weight? Why am I not getting shredded? And it, it may sound stupid to you guys, but this is just a kind of situation where a lot of people are like, I'm eating healthy, like, why isn't the weight coming off? And then you put into my fitness pal, you're like, 1,500 calories of peanut butter. See, this is a bit extreme, but even something like almonds where people are like, dang, that's good for you. I'm gonna eat a whole friggin' tub, and then it's like 2,000 calories, you gain weight, and that's just how it goes. So just even like having some kind of, you know, knowledge as to how much something is, and even if you don't track it to the very gram, just knowing in the back of your mind is just something that can definitely help people who are, you know, not reaching their goals. But on a serious note, last year, one of my buddies came out to me, he's like, Kyle, I've seen you put on, you know, 30, 40 pounds like it was nothing. What is wrong with me? I am working hard, I'm eating a lot of food, my metabolism is slow, I'm having stressful things going on in my life, what am I doing wrong? So I sat him down, I was like, all right, you have to kind of, you know, hear about a few things like background history, all that stuff. But one of the questions I asked him was, I said, buddy, how much are you eating per day? You say you're eating a lot, right? How much are you eating? So he started listing everything. I took out my fitness pal. Um, I put everything into the phone and this was about 9 p.m. at night. I put everything into my app and then it came to about 1500 calories. And uh, this was a dude who said he worked heavily during the day, like 10 hour, like nonstop shifts. I'm like, dude, 1500 calories, it's 9 p.m. You said you're eating a lot, but your mind is telling you are, unless you kind of like track it or at least have some kind of knowledge as to, you know, how much everything is, it could really help you. I mean, it could really push you further away from your goals. So another story, um, and this is on the opposite side. So that guy was like a hard gainer, but he also wasn't eating enough and he just didn't realize. That was the issue, guys. He did not realize that he was not eating enough. And all it takes is a simple, you know, check online or something just to be like, all right, I'm on the right track. You know, even if he doesn't track it heavily, but uh, this was one of my clients and um, she came to me right at the start and she said, um, you know, Kyle, I want to lose weight. Um, I don't eat a crazy amount, probably around 15 to two, 1500 to 2000 calories. Never tracked though. So, um, you know, what should I do? How should we go about it? So what I did was I said, all right, what we'll do is the first couple days, um, I want you to just track a normal day. I want you to track absolutely everything you eat from the sauces, from the condiments, from everything. Um, if it's over calories, I won't get mad. I'm not even assigning you calories yet, but I just want you to do that. See how you go, how it goes, and then we'll go from there. So she did that, and it ended up being like two, close to 3,000 calories, and uh, and I was just, you know, it, it, and she was just flabbergasted at how fast the calories add up because she's never done it before. I've been eating this much food because the ketchup adds 200 calories, and this adds that and and you just don't realize even the people you know this is the third one even the people you know struggling financially who you know are just spending way too much money all it takes is a simple app or you know just a track of you know expenses to to really you know hold you accountable and that's what it's all about it's all about accountability guys um, for those of you who spend eight hours a day playing video games that aren't happy with where they are who are like man where did my time go just a simple journal like you know where where did the time go that I could be using to better myself or to bring me to the next level or help me reach my goals and a simple track of a journal fifth thing is sleep the last little thing I want to talk about before I ramble too much is I just want to tell you guys that you know you have to be absolutely honest with yourself and even for me who didn't have the greatest night's sleeps or or had bad habits like you know writing down in a journal or looking at yourself and being like man I need to fix this like it's absolutely brutal it's hard man like it, it is not easy to even look at yourself and be like man I need to fix my eating habits or my spending habits or those who smoke or drink too much like I need to cut down I need to write down how much I'm consuming you know, to actually make a difference, to slowly create new habits. And that's what this is all about, guys. Tracking is something that can absolutely better your life when it comes to creating new habits and to, you know, kicking all the old habits to the curb and just like holding yourself accountable and reaching new goals. And it's just something that I highly suggest you guys doing in your fitness life, in your business life, and everyday life. And, you know, just help yourself become a better version of you and become happy with yourself and I'm gonna stop rambling guys, but on to the rest of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something. Tracking is your friend. Loosely, heavily, do what you want, but just reach your goals. Let's go. On a side note guys, I just wanted you to see how beautiful this area is. Check this out. So this is called the Toronto Bluffs. 
It is so peaceful here, man. Check that out. That's the wide angle lens.